Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ed with edhard.me and in my HTML email series I get a number of questions about configuring the site manager in Dreamweaver to connect to your hosting account and upload HTML files and images to your web server. So I'm going to show you how to do that right quick. Just dive in. I'm going to open up a new document in Dreamweaver. So I'll select the HTML document that I'm going to create. And I'm just going to make a simple HTML document that consists of an image. So I'm going to hit insert, uh, grab an image off of my desktop. I've got this cool biker portrait by an artist named Sandro Miller. So if you go out on Google and uh, Google Sandro Miller, you'll see this and lots of other really cool portraits. So I'm going to insert that into my document and I can look at the code and I've got a very simple file uh, with no links or uh, anything else. I could, of course, add text and create links and other images and format this however I wanted my marketing campaign to look, but I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to save this as, um, again, on my desktop. I'm going to actually just create a folder called HT ML email and create this document in it. We'll call it biker. Okay, so now I've got an HTML document created and the next step is to take my document and and all my associated images and copy it up to a web server. To do that I can do it all within Dreamweaver I've got a couple of options actually. I can go to another program like FileZilla and do it that way. Uh, but I can do it right within Dreamweaver be, by using Manage Sites. And this is helpful if I've got a complicated uh, document with a lot of different images and I want to keep everything together and keep it organized and be able to edit and check it on the fly. So I just go into Manage Sites and create a new site. Now I'm assuming in this video that you have a hosting account and have access to a web server. You kind of need to have that in order to make your HTML emails render wherever they're received because those images have to be accessible on the internet and the paths to those images need to be uh, exact in your HTML document. So I'll talk about that more in just a minute. I'm going to call this site HTML email. I'm going to point my folder to it that I created just a second ago. And before I hit save, I'm going to come over here and select server. And this is where I would connect to my actual web server through an FTP account. I just hit this plus. And if you don't have a web server, I'd recommend uh, going with Bluehost. Uh, they're inexpensive. They're good to work with. And uh, I use them. So I'm going to key in my FTP credentials. Now these are, this is, these are not the credentials that you use to log into your hosting account. These are specific FTP credentials that you set up within your hosting account for FTP access to your web server. And I'm sorry I can't uh, show this to you, but um, I don't need anybody logging into my web server and messing around. And uh, I'm going to add my specific root directory that I've created on my web server called HTML underscore email. Um, I've already created that folder, and that's where I want to put all my stuff so I can keep it organized on my web server so I don't have images uh, laying around everywhere. So I will hit the test connection to make sure I've set that up correctly. And it looks like I did. If I didn't, it would just be because I mistyped something. And I'll save all of that. And now that I'm in my, my uh, uh, back in Dreamweaver, I can look on the Files tab. And if you, you don't have this layout, it's probably because you have something different here. Um, so if you select Design, and then you go to your window and you make sure that that Files is checked, you can see that uh, here is the file I have on my desktop. I can see there's my folder, and I'm looking at local view. 
and if I wanted to look at the web server on a remote view I can just click this icon or I can come down here and select remote server and Dreamweaver is going to connect via FTP to my web server and show me what's in the folder on my web server. There's nothing there right now because everything's still sitting on uh, my desktop. The other thing I've noticed is that I only have the HTML in my local folder and that is because the image, the portrait, is sitting on my desktop. So if I go over to my finder, go to my desktop, uh, I need to get that biker into my HTML email. Now, what's going to happen is when I drag that, my link is going to break here because the source down here is looking f at the desktop for my image. So watch this. I'll pull my image into the HTML email folder. When I do that and come back over here, look, it's broken. To fix that, I can click on my browse for file, come into my HTML email folder, reselect it, hit open, and now my HTML code is referencing the biker in the same folder as my um, as my HTML document. Now you can see over here on the local folder both of the items are in the same folder so that looks great. And when you have a broken link that you can't see uh, once you've created your HTML email 99 percent of the time it's because the link to the, the, the path in your source is somehow not connecting to where that image is actually sitting on the web server. So now that I have both of these documents in my folder, I can go over and, and look at the remote server and I'll use this up arrow to put both of these documents or this document and this image up to my web server. So yes, I do want to put the entire site up there. It's only two full, uh, files and yes, I do want to save my HTML. I should have done that just a second ago. So I'm going to say yes and I'll copy both of those up. Now I'm looking at the folder on the web server and it has both of those documents. Now to validate that this is working the right way, I can come over to my browser, open up a new tab, and just type in the URL both for the HTML and I can also check the image exactly. So let's say I want to just reference the image itself. Now I have to have the image, uh, the path typed exactly correct for the image, and the image is biker1.jpg, I believe. And there it is. Now this is actually the path. It'll be your domain and whatever your folder is in. But in your HTML uh, text, within the document, this is the full path. And so you may need to type that all the way out because the recipient has to know exactly where your image is or when they get their HTML email the HTML has to know exactly where that image is so I'm connecting directly to the image I can also connect to the HTML page so that's biker.html and once again uh, it's giving me exactly the same image because the HTML document is referencing the specific image so they look exactly the same, although the, the HTML file is, is really the container and the graphic is the biker one. And again, I can show it to you by coming over here to the code and the source is biker one JPG. So that is how you use Manage Sites in Dreamweaver to upload your images to your web server. Um, if you have other questions, come on over to my site, edhart.me. Uh, post a question on, my, on one of my HTML email pages uh, or shoot me a comment in YouTube, and I'll be happy to answer uh, whatever questions you have. I hope that was helpful, and I appreciate you watching.